In the elemental analysis group, inorganic samples are analyzed for their metal content using an automatic system. The installation consists of a melting furnace and a robot system to handle the samples one after the other. Up to 40 samples can be analyzed in one day. The system can be operated unsupervised overnight. The samples are subjected to an alkaline fusion melt digestion process to dissolve the metals. The procedure consists in detail of the following steps. First of all, the sample is weighed out into a platinum crucible. In the same working step, the melting agent is also added. The platinum crucible is then covered with a plastic cap and placed onto the lid of a plastic beaker. Using a control PC, the appropriate identifications and digestion programs are selected. After this, the samples are placed into the rack. At the start of the processing sequence, a three-axis robot arm picks up the platinum crucible. The plastic beaker remains temporarily in the rack. A pneumatic suction device removes the plastic cap from the crucible. The crucible is transported to the ring station where it is provided with an adapter ring. This allows for precise fitting into the melting furnace. After inserting the crucible into the furnace, the program is started. The crucible is inductively heated to over 1200 degrees centigrade. At these temperatures, the digestion salts melt and the sample dissolves in this medium. The melting operation is accelerated by the movement of the crucible. Reaction of the sample with the melting agent takes up to 16 minutes. Digestion is complete when a clear melt is formed. While still glowing, the crucible and ring are then withdrawn from the melting furnace and moved to the rotary tilting station. By rotating the crucible in a tilted position, the melt in the crucible is distributed over a larger surface area. The melt cools down and solidifies. When the melt is solidified, the crucible is moved into the ring station. After the adapter ring has been separated from the crucible, the melt continues to cool down.
In parallel with these operations, the associated beaker is retrieved from the rack. A pneumatic opener unscrews the lid and puts it into an assignable position. The open beaker is moved to the tilting station and rotated 90 degrees. When the platinum crucible has reached room temperature, it is placed into the beaker in a defined position. The beaker, together with the crucible, is raised and transported to the metering station. At this point, a prescribed volume of water and hydrochloric acid is added. Dosage ensues by means of metering pumps. At the end of this operation, the beaker is transported into the lid station and sealed. In order to accelerate the dissolution process, the beaker is placed in a heating shaker. The steady motion and simultaneous heating in the hydrochloric acid medium brings about complete dissolution of the melt. After a predetermined time has passed, the beaker is placed back into the rack. In the rack, the beaker and its contents can cool down to room temperature before being re-weighed on the analytical balance. Now ready for measurement, the solution can be taken from the machine. The final determination of the analytes is carried out by means of an optical emission spectrometer. All of the accumulated data are transferred to the evaluation software and combined with the concentrations measured on the test instrument. Calculation is done automatically. This concludes the analysis.
BASF, the chemical company.